And El Paso ISD continues its last round of community meetings regarding the potential closure of 10 elementary schools as part of their district redesign project. Last night they held two at campuses that are expected to take in students from schools that may shut down. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar was at one of those meetings in West El Paso. He has more on the discussion between parents, educators and board members. For about 20 minutes, El Paso ISD and Murphy school officials held a quiet discussion at the school's scheduled meeting on the potential addition of students from Putnam and Rivera Elementary schools, which are on the chopping block of the district's redesign project. There were projection screens and informational booklets, about three dozen seats, which were mostly empty, and no presentations were made. Parents from the Murphy community, however, feel the school is already too crowded to receive even more students. I think that the school is large as it is and adding more students is just going to add to the chaos of the number of students here and the student to teacher ratio is high as it is. Others weighed in but preferred not to be on camera. I think that's just a very bad decision at the time because the classes are already full capacity right now. They're 30, 40 kids to per class, which makes no sense. No teaching going on. There's just, and chaos is already bad enough as it is. And then to add more kids to that. It Meanwhile, parents, students, and advocates from communities where schools will potentially close down, continue to press EPISD to delay any decision if the district's equity audit report is not considered. Advocates for these communities have their site fixed on next Tuesday. El Paso ISD is set to hold a board meeting where they expect there could be a vote on the future of schools. There is another community meeting today. Well, it's taking place at 5.30 p.m. at Coldwell Elementary School as well as Mesita Elementary School. And just in this afternoon, LULAC has sent a letter to EPISD regarding their proposal. In it, they say they are standing with the community and their concerns and asking for transparency from the district. They are asking for several actions from the district, including asking board members to wait for the equity study to guide decision making and for the district to provide an explanation of the financial logic of closing schools while looking for another bond and to put plans on hold until that information is provided. Of course, for our comprehensive coverage on this, you can always visit KTSM.com.